kiss a girl in Colorado when he's sweet on her and she's sweet on him. Real bus only comes from real love. It's very personal. Any bus is a little nose. Just a teaser. Any bus is one of her pretty eyes. Just to show her he was only teasing. Yeah. Then, any bus is her lips. Yes. When a girl gets to be your age, it means, well, uh, it means she ain't quite the same here and there like she was before she reached her age. You know? Their roaring stories stormed across the West and made it bust out laughing. Wild engines, wild engines, wild women in the most fundraising twosome that ever changed the Badlands into the Gladlands. author of Little Caesar could tell so dramatic a story. Only the director of The Treasure of Sierra Madre could film it with such power. Only once in a decade does the screen come up with such absorbing characters. Sterling Hayden as Dix Handley, a hooligan with a twisted dream. Gene Hagen as Dahl, the dime a dance dame who wanted to share that shabby dream. Let me go with you. Please, Dix, please. Are you crazy? I'm on the lamb. I want it bad. Pack in heat. If there's any trouble, what good would you be? I could drive. No, no. I'm wanted on a killing rap. You know what that means. I don't care. I just want to be with you. Louis Calhern as Emmerich, the big-time mouthpiece with crime on his mind. Oh, I suppose a fellow should stick to his own trade, but uh, I know some pretty big men around here that might not be averse to a deal like this if they're properly approached. Highly respectable men, I might add. Sam Jaffe as Doc. He's got a million dollars in that little black bag, and a jitterbug cost him every diamond. Marilyn Monroe as Angela, the easy living green eyed blonde. Haven't you bothered me enough, you big banana head? Just try breaking my door, and Mr. Emmerich will throw you out of the house. James Whitmore as Gus, the strong arm boy. A right guy in a wrong world. Scott! Come on! Bring on! Bring on! You it wait, you won't! You haven't seen him or anything! You're gonna wind up for your fellow pickers! You're gonna wind up for the war!
a minute. Hold everything. What's coming off here? Get back into those things, young lady, while we take a better look at the inmates of this hilarious house. Here's Connie, a landlord who makes paying your rent a pleasure. This is Jim, who has his hands full with a blonde in his arms in the basement and a cutie on his mind upstairs. That's Charlie. He has more love affairs than he can get away with. And this is Bobby, an old army buddy who just got back to her base of operations. Wow. You know, all the time we were overseas, Jim talked of nothing but you. You must have found that pretty dull. Oh, no. Jim can make anything interesting. I shall never forget my first conquest. I was two and a half weeks old. We had a French nurse. My name is Gray, Federal Bureau of Investigation. Oh, well, uh, come in. I'd like to ask you just a few questions about one of your tenants, a Mr. Charles K. Patterson. Is something wrong? I'm sorry. I'm not at liberty to discuss the reason for our investigation. Oh, but Mr. Gray, this is very important. Is he dangerous? What's the matter? The house is loaded with cops. The police arrive in the nick of time, the plumbing goes out most of the time, and the walls rock with fun and laughter all the time, and the screen's most heartwarming housewarming in years. Sir Henry was a magical writer. He was a man who saw magic everywhere. These are stories that I love. I've read them over and over again. 20th Century Fox has shot the works. play in my backyard. Sure, I don't mind if you buy me a drink. I'm afraid I owe you an apology. Apology for what? For allowing you to think that I might buy you a drink. You see, it's quite impossible. I, I haven't got a dime to my name. My compliments to a charming and delightful young lady. He called me a lady. There's another woman, isn't there? No. There is, there must be. There's no other woman. Well, grow up, Joe. You'll find someone else. This isn't a matter of life or death. And I thought, someday I must take the pins out and see that wonderful hair fall down around her waist. Oh, for that, I'd be willing to marry her. Why, Mr. Young, what an improper thought. Well, 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 look who's here. The big man. <laughs> How long do you think you're going to be able to get away with it? Take a tip from me. Give yourself up. I'm light now. I'm light. Can't you see? You're the only one could put a hand on me. <laughs> Go ahead. Take me in. <laughs> <laughs> 